from Hollywood, it's the Tom Micah Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Senator John McCain is running for the Republican nomination for president. By the way, this is not a political hour, so if you hate politics... Don't worry about it. This is not about politics. It just happens to be a politician who does this. Okay? Senator John McCain was at an event in South Carolina this past Monday. And he was asked a question. And then uh, before he got to answer the question, someone compounded the question, and then finally he answered the question. If that doesn't make sense to you, here is the actual encounter. Senator John McCain, it's with a group of his supporters in South Carolina. This happened on Monday. How do we beat the bitch? Uh, may I give the uh, translation? <laughs> the way that the way she's talking about my ex-wife. <laughs> the way that but, I, but that's an excellent question. You might know that there was a uh, there was a poll yesterday, a Rasmussen poll I identified that shows me three points ahead of Senator Clinton in a head-to-head matchup. Uh, I respect Senator Clinton. I respect anyone who gets the nomination of the Democrat Party. All right, there it is. Senator John McCain speaking in South Carolina. One of his supporters at the event says, how do we beat the bitch, referring to... Senator Hillary Clinton, who is running for the Democratic nomination and who is currently the frontrunner for the Democratic nomination. This has turned into a controversy. Yesterday on CNN, Rick Sanchez, who's an anchor, and he's a guy who I knew many years ago when I worked in Miami. And he worked in Miami. I guess he has a TV show called Out in the Open, and he said uh, most people who have seen it are looking at it as a real mistake on his part in terms of the way he handled it. And questions being raised about whether McCain shouldn't have simply answered the question, as he did, he should have admonished the woman, you shouldn't be calling her a bitch, essentially. Now, I don't know whether Hillary Clinton is a bitch. That's for you to decide. Okay, that's for you to decide. And let me also say that I have nothing but contempt for John McCain as a person based on previous personal experience I have with him. All right? goes back 20 years when I was in Phoenix and he was a congressman from Arizona. I mean, he and I really, really had it out and I wouldn't vote for this guy in a million, billion years. All right, so you have to understand where I'm coming from before I say what I'm going to say. I don't think it's John McCain's place to be telling people what to call Hillary Clinton. 
Everybody listening to this program, everybody except the morons who don't know who's running for president, everybody knew who he, who that woman was talking about. Everybody knew. I mean, come on. The reason McCain answered the question is because he knew who she was talking about. You knew who she was talking about. I know who she's talking about. Think about this for a second. If everybody knows who that woman was talking about, is it possible it's true? Maybe she is a bitch. Perception is reality. Is there something wrong with saying that? Is there something wrong with responding to the question without correcting her and saying, she's not a bitch. She's Senator Hillary Clinton, and she worked her way up, and you shouldn't be saying things like that about a senator, the United States senator. You shouldn't be. Is that what he should have done? I don't think so. Some people are bitches. And there is nothing wrong with referring to them as a bitch. Now, about Hillary Clinton, I don't know. I'm somewhere in the middle on Hillary Clinton. I think she can be a bitch, and she acts bitchy. Whether she's a bitch all the time, I don't know. But when that woman said, how can we beat the bitch? Was there anybody who didn't know who she was talking about? Let's add on to the fact this is a woman saying. It's not a man. You can't use the misogyny card here. Why doesn't anyone criticize the woman for saying it? Why is all the criticism on McCain? And McCain's a politician, and he wanted to, he was there with his supporters. He wanted to answer the question. He did not want to become a school mom, start wagging his finger in this woman's face. He wants everybody's votes, and he wants everybody's money. He wants everybody contributing to the John McCain campaign. Is there something wrong with the way John McCain handled this? I have to know. I have to know. I'm blown away that all these people are saying this is a controversy. It's not a controversy, is it? Tom. 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 One. Eight hundred. Five. Eight hundred. Tom. 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 I think you're brilliant. I enjoy liking you and I enjoy hating you. The Tom Likey Show. Tom Likas Show. Thank you for tuning in. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tom Likas Show, number one with men in Southern California. That's nothing to sneeze at. Let's say hello here to Alan on the Tom Likas Show. Yeah. Hi, Tom. Yes. Yeah. How are you doing? Great. Good, good. Yeah, Tom, I was listening to the topic that you were talking about. Uh, I don't uh, really have uh, any feelings on it. It's just that, you know, when the lady says, uh, uh, how are we going to beat that bitch, it's kind of obvious who they're talking to uh, or who they're talking about, I should say, because, uh, you know, Hillary is the only is the only person who could be uh, uh, mistaken for a bitch, you know, being the only female, uh, uh, you know, in, in the... Uh, uh, only female Democratic nominee, I should say. Well, they could, I guess, be a bitch running uh, on the Republican side for the nomination, uh, but uh, clearly, I don't think any of the people, uh, there were other adjectives you could use to describe the guys running for the Republican nomination, but I don't know if bitch would be one of them. Yeah, I mean, you know, unless you're calling you know, one of the guys a bitch, you know, she's, she's the only female, and typically a bitch would be the female, but... You know, as far as the way I feel about it, you know, I stand in a similar position you do. I, I, I don't really care. You know, I, I, uh, I also have mixed feelings about Hillary, but, uh, um, you know, I think that, you know, to, to say that, uh, you know, that everyone should know who they're talking about, I mean, it's, generally speaking, it's, it's kind pretty of obvious. obvious. Everybody knows. Everybody yeah. knows. Right. And I think more so because she's a female than because... Uh, uh, well, because of anything else, really, you know, whether she's a bitch or not. But uh, anyway, Tom, I think you uh, got a great show going there. My girlfriend hates it when I listen, but uh, nonetheless. <laughs> That's how you know we're doing it right, Alan. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hey, listen, Tom, take me out of the bong hit and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate the call. Here's your bong hit. <laughs> It 
It's Corey on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, man? Great. Here's the thing. It's a matter of class to uh, to say in public when you know you're on camera, a big ha-ha chuckle, oh, you're going to beat the bitch. But these are the politicians. These are the people that are supposed to be intelligent, educated, and representing America. And uh, Wouldn't you say many people think that Hillary Clinton's a bitch? Uh, they might, but it doesn't matter. Well, if you say he's supposed to be representing America, he, first of all, he didn't call her a bitch. And secondly, you just acknowledge many Americans probably do think she's a bitch. So he is representing America. Just drop it off. Say it again, Tom. I'm sorry. Now, if you're too busy to talk to me, I'm too busy to talk to you. Chris, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Chris. Hey, Tom, this thing is the farthest thing in the world from a controversy. We all sit out here and we say we want leaders. We say we want people that are going to actually take a stand, answer the tough questions. And then when a question gets posed to someone, even though it might not have been asked in the most politically correct way, him answering it becomes a controversy. It's crazy. If she wasn't a woman, then no one would say anything about it. But we all think we have to rush to Hillary's defense because she's a poor little girl. And it's absolutely ridiculous. She's a socialist. She's crazy. And I tell you one thing, if we think we have problems now, you wait till she gets in office because well, the sense of entitlement to chicks is going to go through the roof. Well, I don't disagree with a lot of what you say. I wouldn't say I agree with everything, but I would say also that really this is not a political conversation here, and I didn't intend for this to be whether or not we think Hillary Clinton would make a good president. Uh, the question here is whether John McCain did anything wrong, and I don't think he did anything wrong. He's done a lot of things wrong in the past, but not this. No, not at all. He answered the question. We want people to answer questions, and he did what he should have done. I mean, was he supposed to say, which bitch are you talking about? <laughs> Absolutely not. He took it, he ran with it, he answered it. I thought, well, and you know what? We should applaud someone for not waffling, not going back and forth, but just answering the question. That's what we need out of people, leaders like that. Of course, people like that never win, and John McCain has never won and will never win. Uh, yeah, he won't. He got that right. And I don't know that he'd be the best name. But like you said, not uh, not political. But, Tom, we appreciate everything you do. You want to take me out tribal style, brother? Of course. Here you go, Chris. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Baninge. Now, if you missed the uh, clip, we're talking about John McCain responding to a question about Hillary Clinton. I'll play it again in about 15 minutes. I'll play it again, and you'll get to hear it. But essentially, a woman in a crowd of supporters in South Carolina asked John McCain, how do we beat the bitch? And there are people who think that rather than answering the question about Senator Hillary Clinton, that he should have admonished the woman and said, oh, you shouldn't be saying that. That's... That's wrong. I'm not going to engage in that kind of name calling. Which, by the way, that kind of pussyfooting around is the reason Democrats never win. Because they're so afraid of offending anybody. And that's why they continue to get their asses kicked and will continue to get their asses kicked. Kristen on the Tom Likas show, Helen. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm okay. Um, I'm sick of everybody telling me that I'm not allowed to have an opinion. And I just mean in general, if that woman thinks Hillary Clinton's a bitch, who's Tom McCain to police her? Yeah. It's not or his you, job. Or even his brother John. A anybody. Anybody. If I exactly. want to call somebody a nappy-headed hoe, why can't I call him a nappy-headed hoe? If it's not true, then don't worry about it. Everybody's so sensitive lately. Lately? Well, I should say... My parents are really old school, so we were taught that you can you can speak your mind. I like that. Unfortunately, these days it's so offensive, you're not allowed to say anything. You're not allowed to, to use any words that might hurt somebody's feelings. You can't give kids an F because they don't know how to do their work. Because Oh, my favorite, my favorite is the, the kids who play soccer, but they don't keep score. Because you don't want to have winners and losers. You don't want to reduce the kids' self-esteem. How, how do you prepare anybody for the real world if you can't have an opinion? And you Darling, can't... look around you. How many people are prepare, prepared for the real world these days? It's scary. It's really scary. And they're reproducing. Yes, they're breeding like crazy. 
like crazy. They're the, the people that don't even know how the human body works are they're, the ones that are spitting out the kids. They're the 29-year-old grandmothers of the world. It's really, I just, I don't know how to turn it around. I really don't. I don't know if don't you can. Know where to begin. It's just, it's sick. And, you know, a lot of people have given up a lot of things to give us freedom that we have that we're not even, we are a police state. Next thing you know, we won't be able to say anything bad about the president or we won't be able to, you know, protest. It's just, it's just getting ridiculous. Uh, well, believe me, uh, we've edged closer and closer to that over the last few years. No doubt about that. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, buddy. How are you? Great. Well, here's, the, here's what I think. I think what you guys are saying is pretty spot on. But what you were saying about living in the real world, John McCain lives in the real world. He's been in the Senate for going on 20 years, and he should have known better. He should have known that this was going to come out, that a woman calling Hillary Clinton a bitch and him laughing along with it was going to be a huge story. He's running for president. He should be smart enough to know, just talk the woman down a bit. And By the way, it was funny. Clinton. The way she said it and the setting in which she said it was funny. Oh, yeah. Right. And everyone can laugh, but John McCain needs to be savvy enough to know that he's on the biggest stage of the world running for the biggest job in the world. And he needs to be uh, to handle the situation a little defter to be president of the United States. You don't laugh along with that. You know that's going to be on the nightly news, and he should be smart enough to know. That all right, let me ask you a question. All right, all right, all right, so we know your political opinion about this. Let's say John McCain wasn't running for president. Let's say he was just simply a prominent Republican having a meeting with constituents, and, it's, it's, and people no, were concerned about how the Republican nominee was going to win the election, and a woman stood up and asked that question. Does he owe it to anybody to start wagging his finger in that person's face? Tom, you know, it's a different world when the cameras are on. If there's a camera or a radio guy there, then you got to smarten up. But if there's not, yeah, of course. But this is a, a guy. This life. is a guy who everybody says about him. Oh, I don't know if I agree with everything he says, but he speaks his mind. He always speaks his mind. And so what you're Good. saying he, now is the back. guy that the one thing this guy's got going for him. I think he's personally. I think the guy's a loon and he's dangerous. Okay, he cashed, but that's my he opinion. That in when he went to Liberty the, College and spoke with Falwell, he cashed all that straight talk express business in. Then he is he's rank and file Republican now, and if he wants the big job at the big. He's got to smarten up and, and know when to tell a woman, hey, we don't talk like that. I respect her. He tried to clean it up later, and clearly it didn't work. It's like you have to be smart enough to know if you want. It's like how John Kerry made that mistake in uh, San Diego, whatever, you know, how we send the troops over to Iraq and they're just going to die. Dude, if you can't say the line, you can't get the job. You even gotta be though, even when it's know. true. Even when it's true. Well, yeah. Yeah, you have to be. You have to be. I, what I'm like, amazed at, oh, first of all, I'm always fascinated with the number of people who complain that politicians are dishonest. Right. Now I'm amazed at the number of people who are standing up for politicians being indirect, talking in circles, uh, right. misrepresenting themselves. A, a you're, you're, and, you're in favor of that. No, no. But when someone uses a term that they know as toxic as the word "bitch" without addressing it. You got to know that you're done. You or you got to know that that's going to be on the news, and that's what your campaign is going to deal with for the next week of news cycles. I, you're just... you know, I the, the the reason I think John McCain is delusional is because he thinks he could become president under any circumstances. He he has no more chance of becoming president than Jesse Jackson. Al yeah. Sharpton, Ralph Nader, and a bunch of other ne'er do wells who've tried to do this. He's never, ever going to be the president. So, how do we know he's not just, you know, doing this to get some attention, which he loves? The guy goes on sure. Letterman and Leno all the time. I mean, Deal the guy himself. just loves attention. He, he's going to be the first one on the new I'm a show when it comes back on the air. Of course he is. Yeah, of course yeah, have, he is. I mean, Another guy who speaks his mind. He's an attention whore. He's a politician by birthright. So, I mean, yeah, I got. Look, I, I don't disagree with you totally about this, but what I'm saying is that he knows he's living in the real world. And he should have been damn well smart enough to know that when this comes out, that every media 24 hours. Much, much I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Um, hang on a second, Mike. Jim, you don't agree with Mike. Why not? Jim. Yeah, hey, Tom, isn't a bitch a female dog? Well, that's one of the definitions. Well, isn't that good, uh, Hillary, then? So we call her what she is. So you Clearly. think he, Well, by the way, he didn't call her that. No, no, she did. She did. She called her a bitch. 
Well, Hillary's a female dog, so I guess she called her what she is. So you think uh, that McCain handled it properly? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Tom. There you go, Mike, the voice of the people. Well, you know what? The, the, what are you going to do? That's why, you know, American Idol is probably the number one show, because that's how dumb people are. That's why George Bush is the president. There Hello? You two terms. That's, that's, that's why Olive Garden has 7,000 locations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't see many McDonald's going out of business. <laughs> that's exactly right. Right. Hey, Tom, um, can you take me out kingdom style? Of course I can. Here you go. Thanks, Tom. Oh, yeah. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Let's continue our conversation here about John McCain's appearance where a woman said, how do we beat the bitch? Referring to, we all presume, Hillary Clinton. And now people are saying, hey, he should have done something about this. Really? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Bill, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. John McCain is a pimp. Really? Yes. He He's is a... my father, just like you. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Tell me why. Because he deserves it. Hey, hey, you can't say excuse my language. You can't say the language, Okay. The FCC is not going, oh, he asked for an excuse. Okay. All right. All right. Every, every call, it's like 100% of the callers now curse. All right. 100%. She just thinks she's all that, like my wife, and I'm sick and tired of it. I've been married two years, Tom. I have no idea what I should do. Well, you, I guess you do have an idea what you should do. You're just not doing it. And what was that? That's why I'm calling for your advice. Dump that bitch. Dump it. But I think she might be pregnant, Tom. Why'd you do that? I messed up, man. I slipped. Well, it's a lot cheaper to pay child support than vagina money. You think so? Yep. All right. And that's that's really what he wanted to call in about. Hillary Clinton. He found a way to make his topic fit in with the topic. I used to have, earlier in my career, I used to have a guy... Back in the days with talk radio, you used to have those same three subjects all the time, gun control, uh, abortion, and uh, women's rights. These were the three topics on talk radio, and every day it was the same thing every day. He was on AM radio. And we used to have a guy who called in, called, we, I used to call him Dan the Abortion Man, because it didn't matter what topic we were talking about. He would change the topic to the discussion of the, that abortion should be illegal. And and literally, it was like this guy, except about abortion, and it was every day this guy would call in. You'd see the name Dan on the screen, and you knew what was coming. So if you had any other topic you were, had in mind to talk about, you know, a uh, very tragic situation, a TWA plane crashed today, 300 people are dead. He'd call up and go, uh, hello, Tom, this is Dan. I uh, just wanted to say that to those 300 people, that's... 300 people who will never have an abortion. Uh, and we're maybe we're all better off for that because, uh, you know, uh, abortion is murder. And uh, no matter what the topic was, did not matter what the topic was. A vasectomy. Uh, Tom, Dan, um, you know, all the people having vasectomies, at least is one good thing. They'll never be asking their girlfriend to have an abortion. Like, <laughs> he could turn any topic any topic into abortion. Didn't matter what it was. You know, I was mean, having a fight with my family. You know, I have a fight with my mother. Hey, hello, Tom, this is Dan. At least your mother didn't have an abortion. I, I swear it was like that. This guy, same thing. He he had his, his little agenda he wanted to get on the air with. He had to find a way to squeeze it into whatever today's topic was. Jesus. Mitch on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Uh, Thank you. Nice talking to you. Hey, McCain's sure. an effing genius. I mean, you're talking about this. How many other news broadcasts are talking about this? Like you said, the guy might not have a chance, whatever your personal crap is. I don't know. But 
you know, he told the truth when he called the Viet Cong what he called them, and that's what he lost the last election. That's when Bush got elected. You know, it's because he told the truth about his feelings of Viet Cong. But this one's getting his name out there. People are talking about him. If he is only, if he is three points ahead of Hillary, well, then what better can you do? You, you answer the question, use the publicity. You're going to get 50 percent of the people say, hey, oh, he shouldn't have done it. You're going to get 50 percent of the people that say, hey, he did do it. Well, that's more people talking about him than were, that, than were yesterday. Yeah, well, in a sense, that's true, though I don't know necessarily that he planned it that way. Well, I, and frankly, I don't, smart, no, frankly right? I don't think the guy is that smart. I don't. Yeah, that's all, <laughs> well, all, yeah, like I say, that's all I have to say. I agree with everything you said. I wish I'd have followed your direction many times. Uh, Want to listen to Like Us 101 later on this afternoon and have a, have a great well, day. That won't be today, but I thank you for the call, man. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. Beer, 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 beer. The Tom Likas Show. Senator Clinton in a head-to-head matchup. Uh, I respect Senator Clinton. I respect anyone who gets the nomination of the Democrat Party. Now, that last comment he made, that's what John McCain used as his explanation for how he dealt with Hillary Clinton being called a bitch. That's how he dealt with it. He said that by saying he respects her as the nominee of the Demo- as the Republicans love to say, the Democrat Party, that he was making the point that he respected her and that she was the bitch. He also said that was an excellent question. <laughs> Come on, did John McCain do something wrong there? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number on the Tom Likas show with David. Hello, David. Hey, how you doing, Dad? Doing okay, son. Um, for, I think uh, John McCain, first of all, listens to like it's 101. No one really knows about it. <laughs> um, well, you have to understand, you know, there's going to be lots of controversy no matter what when you're running against a woman president. Well, um, there is, there's never been a woman president. Well, I mean, when you're running against, you know, a candidate who's a woman, and, you know, she is a pretty extreme feminist, am I right? Well, my opinion is that she's definitely a feminist. I don't know how extreme she is. I Extreme yeah. feminists believe that any time you have sex with a man, it's rape. Yeah. So I, I, I don't yeah. think Hillary Clinton is, is quite that extreme. Okay, well, you know, she is a feminist, and I think, you know, every guy needs to move to Mexico or Australia, you know, if she does win the uh, election. So, you know, we all kind of have to save her butts. But, um, you know, I think... McCain well, Hillary Clinton is beatable uh, in the Democratic nomination uh, simply because, let's face it, uh, if if guys went out and voted... That they can't count on young women coming out to vote. If guys came out and voted for one of the other Democratic candidates, that would be it for her. Right. And don't men normally vote more than women? So, I mean... No, actually, actually, women vote more than men, but the women are in their 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, um, because 52% of the population is women. That's true. That's true. So, I, you know, I do think uh, McCann handled it. You know, he handled it fine. Um, like I said, you know, there's probably that's probably the first of many, you know, controversies that he's going to have to deal with or whoever, you know, any other can- candidate running against a uh, woman, you know, electee who's going to have to deal with. So well, I, mean, I, think, I think it's the first, you know, that's what you have to deal with. If, if he thinks Hillary Clinton is a bitch, 
should he or any other candidate call her a bitch? I, I mean, I believe so. I mean, when you look at what she's running for and then what he's running for, you know, I mean, you have to like, you have to kind of look at, uh, you have to look at the subject that, you know, what they're trying to propose here. All right. Well, David, thank you. Bill on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay, Bill. Hey, listen, one thing I think has been left out, at least since I tuned in, is that uh, John McCain and Hillary Clinton are both members of the United States Senate, which is supposed to be, you know, above the fray, and you, you kind of cover each other's backs. They, they're colleagues in the Senate, and if somebody speaks up like that about one of his colleagues, regardless of who's running for what office, I think he should be... He should, he should observe protocol, basically. And say, well, you know, they don't. This is, this is an election, okay? This is not a, uh, a parliamentary debate. Uh, Barack, well, Obama, I, Barack Obama has already said all kinds of things about Hillary Clinton uh, and continues to do that. And Hillary Clinton has said things about Barack Obama, by the way. Ima- imagine for a minute somebody stood up in the audience and said, John McCain, John, your mother made a really boneheaded comment the other day about Mormons. What are we going to do about that bitch? You think he should just laugh it off and say, oh, you know, that's a good question. I guess but it depends on whether you think the person is a bitch. Well, I guess, yeah, that's that's true. But uh, I think I just heard you say if he thinks it, he should say it. He shouldn't. No, he has so a, uh, put it this way. Said. No, uh, first of all, what I think is that it's not his job to be uh, lecturing people on what kind of language to use, Okay. Regardless of the language, is there a limit on that? What if he, what if she had used the C word? Should he just laugh? Again, at they were not on television. This was not a live broadcast. Um, and uh, frankly, uh, I think as the candidate, he's probably tried, going to try to avoid a confrontation with a supporter. Well, I think he, I think your other caller a while ago was was correct. He needs to be smart enough to know that there are some nuclear words out there: the N word, the C word. And that, you know, the B word. I think, you know, he should be well, smart enough to know that, well, that whatever but, but, said, but So you're telling me you think Hillary Clinton's a bitch, but that we shouldn't say so? No, I didn't say that. I Do you think she's that. a bitch? I, just, I, well, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know her personally, so I couldn't really say, but I'm saying... Well, many people have that, an opinion or a perception. Well, that's true. People do have per- per- perceptions, but what I'm saying Would is... Would you say certain... there's a lot of people who have a, a perception that Hillary Clinton's a bitch? I haven't done the research, so I couldn't... I'm asking for your opinion. I'm not asking for your research or your empirical evidence. Oh, do I, oh yeah, I'm sure, yeah. A lot, of people, a lot of people think that, but I think that comes with being a strong woman. I think that you're going to get that regardless. You know, I, I think a lot of people think Condoleezza Rice is a bitch, too. But, but that's the just, thing. I don't think people think Condoleezza Rice is a bitch. Well, they may not agree with their politics, but many people don't think she's a bitch. Well, I think any time you have a strong woman, you know, in the man's game, they're gonna, that, that's going to be the... Uh, that's going to be the label that's put on him. Well, but why don't I, people say that about Condoleezza Rice? Well, my point, well, she's not running for office, I don't guess. But my, my point is... Well, that, people you know, called Hillary honest. Clinton a bitch back when she was just married to a president, not running for president. Right, but I think what it shows is desperation on John McCain's part. That, you know, he's going to stoop to that level. He didn't stoop to any he, level. He did not call anybody a bitch. Imagine if somebody attacks you from behind and I say, you know, I've got your back, but I let him kick your ass. You know, I'm He didn't say he had anybody's back, and it's not his job to have his opponent's no, he back. Said he, has, he said he has great respect for her. If you have respect for somebody and, and something like that comes up, you say, hold on just a minute. You know, we don't really, there's no need to get personal. This is an election. I don't think that's his job. I don't think that's his business. Well, I think if he if he was if he had if he was a gentleman and if he really thought he deserved to be in office, I think he would make it his business. Just like like I said, if somebody said something about his mother, would you expect him just to stand there and take it? This has nothing to do with his mother. So this he, has to do with an election. It has to do with people running for the nomination to run for president. Right, right, right. But it also has to do with protocol, in my opinion. And she's a fellow senator, and the Senate is you know the Senate is supposed to be. This this wonderful right. old institution where people where people cover for each other. Not that other, that all people. those rules go out the window in a presidential race. By the way, let me get Brian on here. Brian, what did you want to say to Bill? Yeah, that, that's just stupid because um, if he's just sidestepping again, he's just going to be like another candidate talking about nothing. You know. Hello. I, I don't hear that. What do you mean sidestepping? Yeah, because. Um, if he didn't answer if she was a bitch, he's, he was probably going to lose lose their votes. Like, he didn't um, answer if she was a bitch, but he, with his with his with his failure to if answer, he, if he scorns that lady, you know, then he ruins the whole environment of that of that place, 
and everybody there is just not going to vote for McCain. If he says she was, or if he like, you know, laughs at it, you know, he's he's only going to gain more support for his own people and probably just defer, deter all the other Clinton supporters. It's not like he's going to lose any votes. So I think he's, he's going to get up, a, he's, he's going to get up to like eleven supporters instead of nine. Is what you're saying? He's going to move way up in the polls. That's, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm not really a McCain supporter, but you know, you don't need another sidestepper. I mean, I called in because I'm actually a Ron Paul supporter. I want to, I want to see what Tom thought about Ron Paul. He's a lunatic who, just like John McCain, will never ever be the president of the United States. Yeah, but did you see his uh, his rant on Bernanke? Ah, uh, that's all wonderful, but it doesn't matter how how brilliant you think he is. He will never ever be the president. Ron Paul, Ever. Me, Ron Paul reminds me a little bit of Pat, Pat Paulson. Remember uh, him? I will, I will bet you $100,000 of my own money right now for the rest of my the natural born days on this earth that Ron Paul will never, ever be the president of the United States. Yeah, not just you alone. It was that other guy. That interviewed or, any, him. or any country, Tom. <laughs> or, or any country, yes. <laughs> That's right. Listen, I have to go. It's been nice chatting with you. All right, boys. Thank you All so right. much for the Thank calls. You. I appreciate it. All right. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Kelly on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Kelly. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> Getting feedback here. How are you? Do you um, care? Not really. Um, I I do. No, don't say that. I do. Uh -huh. um, my comment is I, I have to agree with you on this. It's It's no one else's job or duty to defend Hillary. You know, it is she is in competition here. The only person that should be concerned with someone making personal comments would be her husband, her family, and her personal friends. You know, I don't understand what the big deal is. If he felt that way about her, so be it. Um, again, we live in a country where there is freedom of speech. People are going to call you names and make judgment against you. They've been doing it since the beginning of time. So what? If she's the proper person that can do the job at the end of the day, let her do the job. I mean, I have a few choice words for our current president, but if he was able to do the, a good job for our country, then that would be one thing. My personal opinion about him as a person doesn't really matter, now does it? And right, that, so that's how I feel. I completely understand, and I thank you for that. Let me uh, take a look at a letter here that a listener sent in. Interesting. I said I didn't want to talk about politics, but it's a good letter. He writes in, this is Robert Doyle, and he writes in and he says, A woman at a McCain event calls Hillary the B word. The room applauds. McCain laughs and answers her question without commenting on the slur. Just like back in 2004 when Vice President Cheney used the Senate floor to tell an opponent to go F himself. The party that drapes itself in the Bible, the party that says it represents God and decency, can't resist being foul-mouthed. And to think we have an entire year of God and decency in front of us. If God is listening, may he or she save us from the Republicans. Uh, by the way, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, so don't get started with politics. I have nothing to do with it. Jose on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing Okay. Hey, I just want to point out one thing that I've seen, I've read in a lot about this thing today. But you want to notice one thing. Nobody has denied that she's a bitch. I know. Not, you know the not people not who have... Not the supporters or the people who are against her. Nobody's denied it. Yeah, all people are saying is that he should have said something about it. But, but at the same time, not only is nobody denying it. The one thing that people consistently say about McCain, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, is I don't always agree with him, but you know what? The guy is honest. He always speaks his mind. And then the one time he he speaks, and by the way, he didn't call anybody a bitch, and uh, he, he just goes ahead and gives the answer to the question. Everyone's complaining that he didn't speak his mind, he sh that he, he shouldn't have spoken his mind. But, but he's not the moral police. It's not his... Do Everybody has their, I don't their, think it was his place to correct that woman and say, hey, wait a minute. Hillary Clinton's not a bitch. Because then he'd lose votes from other people who support him, for God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.